Breaking news, breaking news. Eric Ten Hag is here to stay. David Austin broke the news and everybody is talking about it. It is trending on social media right now. And I'm sure Said TV and many Manchester United fans are not happy. But also, many of them are happy because it was kind of a split decision. You know, probably to continue with him was going to be the, the good thing to do after Thomas Tuchel rejected to join them and uh, other managers also didn't want to come to Manchester United. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and all the good stuff. Hmm. This one really been taking a lot of time. More than two weeks now after... Ten Hag won uh, the FA Cup. We were expecting like a very quick decision from the owners, but they took their times. They had some other interviews. And at the end, they decided to go with uh, Ten Hag. And uh, let's wait and see what's going to happen. Let me just read some comments here from people. Uh, you thought we were done. <laughs> you thought we were done. Somebody here said that there is a God. So kind of he's happy that Eric Ten Hag is going to stay. They undermine, undermine him by taking so long. Yes, it's so disrespectful because he needed, he needed to know, you know, and also the players that they're going to bring in. They need to know what manager they will be working under. Uh, it was going to be very difficult for them to just uh, just sign for Manchester United without knowing who is coming. And uh, before I forgot, Michael Olise is going to be trending tomorrow morning because now they know the coach. Eric Ten Hag is going to be there and they're going to just put some pressure on target that they want to see at Manchester United. So Chelsea waited all this time. And now I think they're going to face a real, real competition from Manchester United. Look at Ten Hag. What kind of uh, paint? Uh, <laughs> doesn't look like the paint doesn't look like uh, his age. You know, it's like 16, 17 years old kind of uh, <laughs> kind of paint. All right. Oh, uh, no. What, what, are, what are we doing here? Let's continue. I'm happy uh, for them, according to some sources here. And also, some opposition teams want him to stay so they can continue smashing them. Like Crystal Palace smashed them 4-0, remember? Not long ago. So, yeah. Business is back, baby. Business is back. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo extra say 10 hug 0.1. Cristiano Ronaldo 9.2. Because Cristiano Ronaldo just scored another goal today and breaking all the records. All the good stuff. What is your opinion about Eric Ten Hag the GOAT? Are you happy about it? And yeah, social media. This is this is me here. This is my page, by the way. Green Turf, if you want to follow your brother on Twitter. Instagram and also TikTok and Facebook. So this is him. Ten Hag here. <laughs> I tried to be funny, but um, it is what it is. And Fabrizio Romano continued to say that Manchester United have already started init initial talks with Ten Hag and his camp over a new contract. Wow. He signed for three years, huh? Now he, they're going to extend it. Long-term project with Eric Ten Hag. What is your opinion? Negotiation will follow uh, to agree on new contract. Keep going together also on summer transfer window plan. Eric Ten Hag stays. Okay, some other random topics. Douglas Luiz is getting closer and closer to joining Juventus. And the other way it's going to be... Uh, McKinney and um, and another player f that used to be at Chelsea f Academy, Ealing. Yeah, Ealing, right? Yeah, so he's, um, it's going to be a swap deal. 
as you can tell here from Fabrizio Romano, because they can't really spend all the money in the world. They need to, to have some kind of deals. So Samuel Erling, Erling Jr., he used to be a Chelsea Cobham, and McKinney is a very good American brother that can help and he's going to be happy to play in the Champions League with Aston Villa. All right, let's move on and check on some other updates here. Mason Greenwood, for sure, he's not going to play. Eric Ten Hag stays. And uh, him and Jadon Sancho, no way they are coming to Manchester United. And according to some report, United want 50 million and Juventus are pushing to sign him or oh, they want to pay 30 million plus add-ons so but Juventus also are in financial trouble they have to sell in order to buy and that's why they are making some deals even with uh, uh, McKinney going the other way to Aston Villa in order for them to, to get to Douglas Lewis so let's wait and see what's going to happen but it's a good buy for Sancho. He's not going to play for United anymore because Ten Hag is going to stay there. And for Greenwood, because of what happened when he was 18 years old, putting a hand on a woman, on a young lady that they still live today, have a kid and stuff. And uh, the society is going to just try to cancel you no matter how ignorant and stupid you were as a young man. You have just to be perfect. All right, what else is trending? Manchester United and Tottenham Hospitals are set out to battle for Crystal Palace winger Eze. Yeah, Eze also is going to be very interesting after the Euros to see the destination where he is going to be. Chelsea have agreed personal terms with uh, Michael Olise. This, this hasn't been confirmed by... David Austin or Fabrizio Romano. This is coming from Give Me Sport. Ah, uh, they are so so. Uh, they try to anticipate things even if they don't really have a source. So if it works, oh, we told you so. You know, we said it first. I don't think the terms been agreed, but it looks like Chelsea are putting some pressure on getting Michael Lolisse as soon as possible. But like I said. Because Manchester United are back in business now, it's going to be a battle between Chelsea and Manchester United to get Michael Olise. John Duran, according to some sources from Colombia, from South America, agreement between Chelsea and Aston Villa for John Duran is already there in principle. And it's going to be around 50 million euros, according to that source. And they are negotiating terms, you know, term for the players to sign a contract in term, terms of payment. And remember, Aston Villa want Conor Gallagher, you know, some kind of swap deal plus money. So let's wait and see what is going to happen on this. Many Chelsea fans are not happy about this deal because this guy is 20 years old and Chelsea want a proven goal scorer number nine. But you have to keep an open mind. Last season, nobody knew who Victor Gikoresh was from um, Coventry City. And he went to Portugal. The rest is history. Keep an open mind. But this is not the guy that you expect to score 20 goals a season. You have to be patient and give him time to develop. There's nothing new here. If you want to follow your brother, this is my page. Always post something positive every single day. Something funny, something to brighten your day. It doesn't cost you anything. Let's follow each other because I always follow people back. No ego, no nothing. Chelsea are killing the team. Chelsea owners, sporting directors, the board, they don't really care because they have no emotional attachment with that club so they want to get rid of everything academy or everything attached with Abramovich just for pure profit so Chelsea model now is very questionable it is what it is I made some other videos early on on the Green Turf YouTube channel also on the GFC 
YouTube channel. We have quite a few channels that we post different kind of topics. Uh, so yeah, double check because the list, the list of our channels is going to be in the description down below. So you can have a look and probably you won't be disappointed.